Are you ready to see this year's MCAL kits? It's the MCAL 2023, the new mystery shawl called Geo Gradient. It's gonna be a geometric explosion with a gradient of color. What does that look like? It's gonna be a color series of light to dark. You're gonna need four colors, 100 grams of each color, fingering weight, and the Geo Gradient is gonna go light with color A all the way to dark with color D. So when we're talking about gradients for this year's MCAL, that means four different colors that crescendo in color, they increase in saturation from light to dark. So we're gonna be making our own gradient. It's very different from those color changing yarns that do the work for you. We're gonna use each color individually, going from light to dark to make our own beautiful gradient. So I'm gonna show you all of the kits that we'll have at Stephen and Penelope. They will launch at, at uh, 4 p.m. Amsterdam time on September 2nd. So Saturday, September 2nd, 4 p.m. Amsterdam time. I'll put a time converter link down below so you can see what time zone that is where you are. But uh, get the kits, they fly pretty quick and you can use any yarn to participate in the knit along, but we put all these beautiful MCAL kits together for you for the Geo Gradient. So this is one of our Mominoki kits called the Brick Gradient, and it goes from this light color to the dark. So you're gonna see some of these gradient kits with different colors, and that's one way to build your gradient from light to dark, is have a taupe, and an orange, and a brick, and a burgundy color. So you could have different colors in your gradient kit, or your gradient color choices, or your palette might look something like this. You could stick in the same color family. This is the mocha gradient. Stick in one color family, light to dark, and that'll be a really smooth, harmonious color selection. So let's take a look at our kits. Lots of hand dyed kits, some commercially dyed kits, and we're gonna get started with Mominoki, one of my favorite yarns to knit with. Here you can really see the variety of gradients that you can choose for the MCAL. So all these kits will have available for you, but you could also get inspired by these colors and build your own palette. Going greens, neutral, really juicy colors. So up here, this is the fir tree gradient and it has beautiful, rich, saturated greens and a little bit of a yellowy gold tone to those first colors. This is the grape gradient, really beautiful purples and a little bit of a wine color. Some of these kits you'll notice have subtle speckles, but I chose mostly solid and semi-solid yarns to get crisp detail between your colors. We're gonna use the colors individually, so we want to see nice, crisp lines in the shawl, so not too many busy speckles. A little bit is okay, but let's try to keep the contrast very crisp. Grape gradient. This next one is the evergreen gradient, and it's really beautiful and harmonious with those pine, fir tree kind of colors. So evergreen, really green with a little bit of a teal tone. Mocha gradient is that beautiful neutral, a little bit of warm, uh, mostly warm overall. It gets a little colder in these grays, but the overall neutral is a really warm, creamy tone. This is the saffron gradient, and for you yellow lovers, this is just so joyful and a little bit vintage inspired. I love these kind of 70s retro palettes because I was inspired by that kind of mood and vibe when I was designing the shawl as well. Down here, we have the Sabi gradient. It's really similar to the fir tree gradient, but it's a little bit darker and more earthy in tone. Really good for you earthy green lovers. The brick gradient is one of my favorites because it's so juicy and really represents how you can build a gradient from light to dark using different colors. This is the ocean gradient with the beautiful blues, and it's really deep and stormy with that light denim, and then it quickly gets really saturated into those tumultuous blues and gray tones. This light purple palette is called the Princess Gradient. It's a really light lavender lilac tone, and it quickly increases in saturation to this electric purple. And I ended it with this beautiful dusty gray purple for the Princess Gradient. And finally, for you pink and red lovers, this is the Sakura gradient, inspired by cherry blossoms. So it starts really light and neutral, really playful and flirty pinks, and then it gets dramatic with those beautiful red and wine tones for the Sakura gradient.
These are our beautiful kits from Punk Rock Unicorn. So you neon lovers are gonna get some really exciting color palettes with that neon yellow and these neon peach colors. So starting up here, this is the Atlantic gradient for you blue lovers. Really bright, very vivid, and blue, 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 blue. This is the sunny gradient with these beautiful yellows. It starts really calm and increases into the honey tones. The Houdini gradient is very neutral with a little bit of that purple tone. And this is a good way to use those speckled yarns. You can have some subtle speckles, but it's really nice to mix them with semi-solids. So you get nice, crisp, clear definition between each color. The peach gradient is one of my favorites. It's so vibrant and really light and creamy, and it starts very light and increases into a very intense, saturated neon peach. This is the velvet gradient, very fall autumnal colors. And I just love these warm, juicy berry tones so much in the velvet gradient that I took these last two colors and also made a lipstick gradient. So for you red lovers, this lipstick gradient is gonna be high intensity, really dramatic and full of saturation. Lastly, this witchcraft gradient is full of greens very mossy, it starts really light and ends really dark with that witchcraft colorway. Or this is the bottle green colorway and the, one of these greens. This is the witchcraft, this green. So the witchcraft gradient is really yummy and foresty and very high contrast. One thing missing from this palette, I think, are intense purples. So we have a very secret surprise. Those of you that love purples, especially intense purples, there's gonna be a surprise mystery gradient called the Purple Mystery Gradient from, from Punk Rock Unicorn. So you'll find that at the Punk Rock Unicorn page for the kit launch. So if you really want a surprise package and you want me to select the purples for you, you have to love purple and there's gonna be a Purple Mystery Gradient to complement all these other colors. So what are those colors gonna be? You'll find out when you open your package if you choose the purple mystery gradient. Otherwise, you can choose Atlantic, Sunny, Houdini, Peach, Lipstick, or Witchcraft for those punk rock unicorn. Super soft to knit with, and the yarn really feels like velvet when you knit with it. Take a look at these beautiful La Bien Aimee MCAL kits. I love working with LBA because they dye so many of their colors to work so harmoniously with other tones. So this is the Super Sock base. It's a really generous yardage with over 425 yards, or there's 425 meters and 465 yards. So well over 400 in each skein. And it's applied yarn, so it's nice and crisp with really good stitch definition. And the Mominoki and Punk Rock Unicorn yarns I showed are also plied. So that means it's really great for texture and really long lasting as you knit and wear it. So starting up here is the yellow gradient with those iconic LBA yellow colors, really neon into the really flashy sunny colors and the gold and brown. So this is the yellow gradient. We have the lush gradient for you green lovers, really beautiful saturated greens. Sari gradient with that neon pink and beautiful deep pink leaning into red tones. This is the royal gradient. It's really saturated and very subtle with those deep tones. So if you're working with colors that are a little bit close together like this, you wanna make sure they're very solid so you still see some nice crisp uh, details in the design. The royal gradient, Vespa gradient for you icy blue lovers. We always need to have some good neutrals. So these are La Bien Aimee's beautiful cold grays. This is the dire wolf gradient starting very stony and ashy, going really deep into the charcoal, black gray tones. This is the Ecto gradient, another green option, inviting a bit more of those silvery tones with the neon blast for the Ecto gradient. Dawn gradient is really subtle. So if you don't want a really high contrast type of shawl, you can go really soft and subtle like this, but make sure your yarns are very solid, semi-solid so that you still see those individual tones for the dawn gradient. Rust gradient, this is for you autumn lovers. This is just so quintessential fall colors. 
It's a beautiful collection of those autumn tones, the rust gradient. And finally, for you purple lovers, we have the anemone gradient, named after that beautiful lavender tone. Nice, soft neutrals with some power purples, anemone gradient. Here we have some beautiful Qing fiber and undercover otter yarn options for you. I wanted to keep it really light and creamy with Qing fiber because the base is a single ply base and it's one of our softest merino yarns. So if you really like that buttery soft next to the skin quality, that single ply dashing sassy yarn is gonna be your best friend. This is the champagne gradient. It's really buttery soft and goes into these honeycomb tones. I just love the warm glow that that kit has. We have a pastel purple. This is the floating gradient, floating. Really light lilac into the soft dusty purples. The sage gradient welcomes those light sagey greens. Really light and creamy, very silvery sage. The sage gradient. This intense green gradient is called turtle. It's that beautiful like Ninja Turtle inspired colors. I just love the electricity that these greens have and it's a beautiful chartreuse as well. The turtle gradient and then over here for you pink lovers, this is called the miracle gradient. Nice peachy pinks with some rosy tones as well. This base below is applied yarn. If you haven't knit with this yarn, it's called Eventide, and it's from Undercover Otter, hand dyed by Aiden here in Amsterdam, and it's a custom base at Stephen and Penelope. And if you haven't knit with this yarn, it is so smooth, so heathered, very dimensional, because it has this gray yak fiber. So all of the colors are heathered and have that yak undertone with that smoky gray base. So this is the silver gradient. It's a cool toned with some blue silver colors in there. Really nice and neutral. The outer space gradient, blasting off into outer space with these intense blues, but they all have that really nice shadowy silver tone as well. This is the growing gradient for you green lovers. Necromantic is a pink purple electric blue purple mix really fun. And then the rosemary gradient for you green blue lovers. These are some of my favorite colors from Undercover Otter. That gorgeous green and that aqua turquoise blue. Super fun. You're going to see a light to dark gradient transition with the rosemary gradient. Both of these yarns are really soft and each of these bases are custom bases for Stephen and Penelope. So extra special, the Dashing Sassy, the Eventide, Save those names of the kits and uh, pick your favorite few kits so that you can have some options for September 2nd's kit launch. Life in the Long Grass has such a nature-inspired palette, so you're gonna find lots of subtle kind of gradients in this collection. I used Life in the Long Grass singles for my Aurora Cabin Shawl, and I just love the singles yarns because it's so drapey, and even when you have texture, we don't know what's gonna happen in this year's MCAL, but there's gonna be some detail, there's gonna be some crispiness going on, and with that singles base, you get that drape, but also that beautiful, crisp, single-ply clarity in the stitches. So I loved my Aurora Cabin, so I brought back a lot of my favorite uh, nature-inspired colors from Life in the Long Grass, starting with this oxidized gradient. This is one of the more subtle kits. Do you see how the colors are quite close? This one's gonna be a little bit more blendy, and it's okay. If you want it to be more subtle, it's okay to have this many subtle speckles, but just know that it's gonna be more of a mixed, blended type of, type of shawl palette. But uh, th that's okay if you like things subtle. Again, for the solid yarns, that's gonna give you the crispiest, most geometric effect in your shawl. This is the stone gradient with the beautiful blues and neutrals in a bit teal and dark teal colors. We have the sugar gradient, beautiful purples, deep coral gradient. It's like a fiery red, slightly orange, but it also has these pink tones to it. So it's really warm, a little bit of a purple red down there for the deep coral gradient. Then we have the Baroque gradient, really soft with those beautiful, warm, kind of antique colorways. Down here, we have the Mythical gradient, very green and chartreuse. This is the Fire Clay gradient, very warm, very earthy. 
This is, for you blue lovers, the Sailor Gradient. I think this is my favorite blue kit that we have, the Sailor Gradient, because it's so electric and really cool, and the blue tones just scream out of the skeins. They all have that kind of light pearlescent kind of white undertone to the colors, and I just love this mix of teal and blue in the final color. For the Sailor Gradient, Terracotta Gradient, these are just some of my favorite tones from Life in the Long Grass. So you see all these pinky, warm tones in a lot of the kits, and this is just so harmonious and beautiful. And the Powder Puff Gradient for you pink lovers. A little bit of a purple pink at the end there, but it's really light and frosty as you crescendo the colors into that final statement tone. Life in the Long Grass singles, really soft, and I just love how neutral and harmonious all these colorways are. Walk Collection Cottage Merino is another really soft single ply yarn, and what I love about Walk Collection are the, their immense range of solid colorways, and they just form these perfect gradient palettes. I didn't have to work hard to put these kits together because the colors do all the work. They're just made to go together and they're gonna work so beautiful for the Geo Gradient shawl. So up here is the Orchid Gradient with my favorite Orchid Purple. I just love those, those juicy tones. We have a dustier version for you called the Nightshade Gradient. Fjord Gradient is for you ocean lovers, soft dusty blues. And for a more electric blue, we've got this Cloudy Gradient. They're a little bit more piercing in that cold blue quality. Soft for the Fjord, a little more ooh, zesty and fun for that Wave Gradient. This is the Romance Gradient. It has beautiful blushy tones, a little bit of coral, a little bit of pink, a little bit of light pink. Very romantic, romance. Succulent gradient, very cactus. Like for all you plant lovers and plant collectors, this is just a beautiful little plant collection in a yarn kit. Succulent, volcanic. These are very cool toned grays. Very sophisticated, super ashy. Volcanic gradient, sand gradient. For you brown lovers, a little bit of an orangey tone. It has a very brassy caramel quality to the sand gradient. This is the claret gradient. Very smoky, super dramatic with those oxblood colors and a beautiful autumn glow happening right there. Claret. And this might be one of my favorites, this Malibu gradient. Again, to me, this reminds me of those 70s vibes, which is really the realm I was thinking when I was designing the Geo Gradient shawl. So very chartreuse, grungy yellow greens, and a final little brassy brown finish. The first color of this is a very pale, buttery yellow, and it just brings out those beautiful glimmering tones to the greens the Malibu. You're going to love knitting with this yarn. It is so plump, so bouncy and plump for a single ply yarn. It really has quite a bit of loftiness compared to most other single ply yarns. This one's really special. Neighborhood Fiber Company has just the most velvety soft base because it's a non-superwash base, which is quite unusual for these single ply yarns. So you're going to find that it's extra cloudy and it really has that body and that liveliness to the yarn. So it's still drapey, but it has a little bit more firm density to the fabric. It's not so slinky like the other singles. It has a bit more fluff factor. So these are the beautiful kits, starting with the smoky gradient. So look at these two gray gradients. This one's more warm. It's definitely kind of taupey gray, but more of the brown warm tones. I love that, really neutral. And this one's colder. These cold icy silver grays, they're really beautiful, really semi-solid. And this one's called the Broadway gradient. Very concrete, cold tones. After that, we have the Lakeland gradient. Really beautiful lake blues. Lakeland. This is the Bel Air gradient with the greens and a really fun greeny turquoise color to finish that crescendo of color. The Concord gradient is super grapey. So this has dusty purples and ends in my favorite blue purple. The Concord gradient. Ramblewood gradient is this beautiful brown with pink tones. Ramblewood. Victorian gradient for the pink lovers. We have Basquiat gradient, 
really orange, really rich red orange tones with a little splash, Basquiat. Oliver gradient is a golden gray. It's definitely more of the brown gray tones though, very warm. So this is a gray, but it's kind of a brown gray, that Oliver gradient. And then finally, the Remington gradient. A lot of purple palettes to choose from because you can never have too much purple. So it's hard to choose which one is your favorite, but that's why we put so many palettes together so you can get just the right tones and just the right feeling uh, so you can really enjoy the spirit of those colors. So write down your favorite few colors to make sure you've got a few selections for the kit launch because if you see one pink palette, if that one goes quickly, then you have some other pink palettes to choose from. But Neighborhood Fiber Company, super soft and uh, very lively single ply yarn. So those were the hand dyed kits. It's a lot of options to choose from. So save your favorite kit gradient names. So on September 2nd, you can have a few options to choose from. And you're gonna find some kits that have two balls of each color. So our West Wool now comes in 50 gram skeins. So if you're working with a yarn that has 50 grams, instead of 100 grams, you're gonna need two of them. So you'll see our West Wool kits look like this. I think this is my kit. I'm gonna knit one of my shawls with a beautiful yellow. This is the Bianca gradient with our new yellow colorways of West Wool. We're gonna have some grays, this pebble gradient. Our blue teals will be this Norway gradient. So West Wool Bicycle is a non-superwash yarn and really crisp, solid colors. A little pickle gradient for you green lovers. Flamingo with the peachy pinks. So you'll find a whole rainbow of West Wool and they all have two skeins of each color because they're 50 grams. So lots of fun pinks and rainbows of colors to be had. And there'll be some Holst and Knitting for Olive kits as well. So there's definitely gonna be enough kits to choose from and just make sure you show up on September 2nd to make sure you get one of your first picks of the color palettes. Every single kit will come with the yarn and you can get the pattern separately, the Geo Gradient Shawl on Ravelry or Westknits.com so you get all the clue updates as we knit along in October. So we've got about a month to get our yarn picked, get your swatches going and get excited for, I think this is the 14th mystery shawl. Can you believe it? And uh, it's going to be so much fun as we knit along in October. And you can use any yarn you like. So I hope these kits inspire you. And if you do get one of our kits at Stephen and Penelope, you'll also be getting this fun tote bag, this new project bag, and some fun stickers and little fold over tags to make your mystery knit along experience extra special. So we just love putting these kits together for you and can't wait to see you on the kit launch. September 2nd, 4 p.m. Amsterdam time, and I'll put all of those links down below so you can save the page, see what time zone that is where you are, and get excited to go on another mystery knitting adventure together. Can't wait. Geo Gradient Shawl. I'll see you in October.